Good morning, Margaret. I'm here to see Dr. Baker. Good morning, Charles. Has any of your information changed since you were here last? No. All right, we'll get you back here shortly. Charles Zimmerman. It looks like you're just here for a follow-up. Right. Okay. Dr. Baker has one patient ahead of you, and then he'll be in. Two thousand years later. Sorry for your wait, Charles. No problem, doctor. Everything looks good. See you back in two weeks. Sounds good. Charles. Hey, Harriet. What are you doing here? Everything all right? John is in a room with Nelly. That dreadful horse of hers attacked her. Really? So you found it? No. This happened before it disappeared. My poor, sweet Nelly had to defend herself against that beast. Can you just imagine, Charles? I tell you, if I ever see that beast again, it will be its last. Isn't that a bit harsh? I certainly do not think so. We can't have a vicious animal running around Brook Heaven like that. It will simply have to be put down. Oh, Charles, do you really think she would do such a thing? She seemed pretty dead set on it, hun. A detective was here while you were gone. They spoke to Becky. To Becky? Apparently, the day before Midnight went missing, Nellie saw her at the stables. She told them she saw Nellie beating Midnight and he was screaming. She was so upset that she just ran away and came home. I knew that the horse wouldn't just attack that girl. He's a good horse. Becky says he didn't fight back. That she's lying. I hope they never find him then. Oh no, we can't let them find him. He can't mow the yard. He'll find Midnight. Hey, Dequin. Dequin. Hello. What is she doing? Is something wrong? Um, you can't mow the grass. And why not? Because I want to. I mean, you're so busy with the student council, and I need to take on more responsibility. Uh, okay. Then, knock yourself out. Where is it? Where are you hiding it? That tree doesn't look so good. I know, it's got to be there. Hmm? Oh, goodness. Why are you doing this again? You heard Nelly. That Becky girl was at the stables. This is nonsense. Leave it to the detectives. Well, John, I'm just trying to help. Nelly said Becky was messing around suspiciously the day before he went missing. I believe her. You should believe your daughter. We know Nellie's track record with truth, and we know Becky's. So who do you think is telling the truth now? John, wait. Ugh. One week later. Back in the old life before you existed. I don't believe it. There's midnight. Mary, Mary, you stay right there. Young lady. Oh. So, it was you who took Midnight, and this is where you've been hiding him. Give me that horse right now. You can't take him. That animal is vicious. Mary, I won't allow that animal to hurt another person. Wait until I talk to your father. Hi, Nelly. Hi, Mary. Come with me. Right now. But I'm not really dressed to be out. You look fine, Nelly. The fresh air could do you some good. I don't want to be out long. Look, there's your mom. Oh, Nelly, be careful. What are you girls doing? Your mom wants you, Nelly. <coughs> no, Nelly. Ooh, she pushed me, mother. But look, Mrs. Nelson, it's a miracle. Yes, it certainly seems so. Really, Charles, that's what John told you. I can't believe it. But Mary is going to be so excited. I love you, too. Be careful and see you when you get home. Bye. Mary, you are not going to believe this. But John Nelson just told your father that you can keep midnight. Really, Mom? Yes. But you are still grounded for sneaking out and for stealing. Mom, I was trying to help him. We know, and that is why you are only going to be grounded for one week. But you better never sneak out of the house again like that. Honey, it's not safe. 
I know. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.